All right guys, this is Will from Monkey Steals Peach and for the last few days I've been here in Yantai continuing my Mantis training and for today's video I'm in the Jade Emperor Temple in the center of Yantai and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the founding of Seven Star Mantis or Qixing Tala. So there are pretty much three main branches of Mantis and any other, any other lineages sort of come off of these branches. And the three main ones are Seven Star, which is the most well-known, the most widely practiced one. Uh, Meihua Mantis, um, of which Taiji Mantis that I practice is like an offshoot of it. And there's Six Harmony Mantis. Now Six Harmony Mantis is the most different from the other two, but Meihua and Seven Star uh, have a lot of similarities and the differences I'd say are more uh, more subtle. So the founder of Seven Star Mantis was a guy called Wang Yunsheng and in around the 1880s he trained Longfist, he originally trained Longfist in this temple here, the Jade Emperor Temple and his teacher was a guy, uh, a Taoist priest called Li Chuan. So he learnt for several years long fist with Li Chuan and he even had his own school, his own students, he had a pretty decent reputation and the story goes that he then met a mantis master by the name of Li Zhejian or some people call him Li Sanjian and he ended up losing the fight to this guy and then decided to be that guy's student and learn mantis. He spent three years learning mantis and then he took his previous experience with long fist and the mantis and he created Seven Star Mantis. And then from there, um, he taught Fan Shudong. And Fan Shudong then went on to teach several people and Seven Star began to sort of really make a name for itself and became one of the major styles practiced here in Yantai. The connection between the Jade Emperor Temple and Seven Star Mantis doesn't just end there with Wang Yunsheng. In fact, just in the like open space down here seven star people have been practicing for years and years so back in sort of like the 1920s 1930s time like the republican era uh, Lin Jing Shan who was one of the like most well-known seven star mantis guys in Yantai he used to practice down here he used to teach here and um, the, I'll put some old photos up now you can see uh, Lin Jing Shan down here and also just in this area where I am now is where Yu Tian Cheng, who was one of the like most renowned seven star mantis guys for fighting, he used to teach in, in here as well. So you can see that this, this area has a really strong connection with seven star mantis and even now there's a whole park all around going down there and if you come in the morning you can see seven star mantis people still practicing here. Alright, so that was a brief history of Seven Star Mantis, how it was founded and the early days of Seven Star. And for my next video, I'm going to go to my teacher's teacher's former home, uh, Suo Cheng Li, which is the original part of Yantai, tell you a little bit about the history of his family, the Zhang family, and their importance in Yantai, and how he came to practice Taiji Mantis. So if you like this video, give us a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, we've got martial arts travel videos and starting from December I'm going to be doing a whole series of interviews with various masters of different styles starting from Southeast Asia and also in China as well so make sure you check that out. And you can also check out my Patreon if you want to support the running of this channel and there's a load of exclusive content up there. I'm actually going to be filming a whole lot of Patreon content tomorrow, so yeah, thank you very much.